Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and we're going to learn on operations and evaluations of functions. So from these given functions, f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 2, then the g of x, that's 5x squared minus 4, and the h of x equals square root of 2x minus 3. Then solve for f of 2. Since f of 2, so therefore, from f of x, but x is equal to 2. So substitute this 2 to this equation. So this becomes 3 times 2 to the power 2 because x is equal to 2. Then minus 5 times 2, then plus 2. So simplify, so 3 times 2 to the power 2, this one is 4. Then negative 5 times 2, that's negative 10. Then plus 2. So we have now 3 times 4, this one is 12, minus 10, plus 2. So the final answer, so that's 12 minus 10, that's 2, plus 2. So we have 4. So therefore, f of 2 is equal to 4. Then for this given, so h of 5, since h of 5, so therefore from h of x, but x is equal to 5. So we have the square root of 2 times 5 because x is equal to 5, then minus 3. So simplify, 2 times 5, this one is 10, minus 3, so 10 minus 3, that's square root of 7, so therefore h of 5 is equal to square root of 7. Then for this given, so the operation of function, so this equation is equal to f of x plus the g of x. Then you add these two functions, so from f of x, that's 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Then plus, so plus, the g of x, so g of x, that's 5x squared minus 4. Then combine like terms, so these are terms with the same variable and the same exponent. So this x squared and x squared, so you add this coefficient, so 3 plus 5, this one is 8, then just bring down this x squared. Then we have this minus 5x and positive 2 minus 4, this one is negative 2. So this is now the sum of f of x and the g of x. Then for this given, so this equation is equal to g of x minus the f of x. So from g of x, that's 5x squared minus 4. Since negative, minus, so you need to put the second function inside the parenthesis. So f of x and f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. So again, for subtraction, you need to put the second function inside the parenthesis because we need to distribute this negative to every term. So this becomes negative 3x squared. That becomes positive 5x and negative 2. Then combine like terms. So we have this x squared and x squared. So 5 minus 3, that's 2. Then bring down x squared. Then we have this positive 5x. Then negative 4 and negative 2, that's negative 6. So this is now the difference of g of x and the f of x. Then for this given, so this equation is equal to 
g of 2 minus the h of 2. So from g of x, but x is equal to 2, so you need to solve first this g of 2. So again, from g of x, so we have 5 times 2 to the power 2, then minus 4. So we have now 5, 2 to the power 2, this one is 4, then minus 4, and 5 times 4, this one is 20, minus 4, so this one is 16. So g of 2 is equal to 16. Then for h of 2, so solve first h of 2 from h of x, but x is equal to 2, so we have the square root of 2 times 2 minus 3. So we have now 2 times 2, this one is 4, then minus 3, or the square root of 4 minus 3, that's 1, and square root of 1 is equal to 1. So g of 2 is 16, and h of 2 is equal to 1. So substitute now the values to this equation. So g of 2, that's 16, then minus h of 2, that's 1. So the final answer is 15. So g of 2 minus h of 2 is equal to positive 15. Then for this given, so this one is a multiplication. So this equation is equal to g of x times the f of x. So from g of x, we have 5x squared minus 4 times the f of x. That's 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Then simplify, so using a distributive property, so we have 5x squared times 3x squared, so multiply this uh, coefficient, so 5 times 3, this one is 15. Then add the exponent of x, so 2 plus 2, that's x to the power 4. Then distribute this 5x squared to negative 5x, so 5 times negative 5, that's negative 25. Then add the exponents, so 2 plus 1, this one is x to the power 3. Then multiply this 5x squared to positive 2, so this one is positive 10x to the power 2. Then this negative 4, distribute to every term on the second group, so negative 4 times 3x squared, this one is negative 12x squared, then negative 4 times negative 5x, so negative times negative, this one is positive 20x, and negative 4 times 2, this one is negative 8. Then combine like terms, so terms with the same variable and exponent, so for x to the power 4, that's only 1, so bring down, so we have 15x to the power 4. Then for x to the power 3, so there's only 1, so bring down negative 25x to the power 3. Then for x to the power 2, we have 2, so you need to subtract or add the coefficient. So this positive 10 minus 12, this one is negative 2. Then copy x to the power 2. Then this one 20x, only 1, bring down, and negative 8. So this is now the product of f of x and the g of x. Then for this given, so this equation is equal to f of negative 1 times the g of negative 1. But you need to solve first the f of negative 1. So for f of negative 1 from f of x, but x is equal to negative 1, so we have 3 times negative 1 squared minus 5 times negative 1, then plus 2. 
simplify. So, 3 times negative 1 to the power 2. So, negative 1 times negative 1. That's positive 1. Then, this negative 5 times negative 1. That's positive 5. Because negative times negative is positive. Then, plus 2. So, we have now 3 plus 5 plus 2. Which is equal to 3 plus 5. That's 8 plus 2. That's positive 10. So, f of negative 1 is equal to positive 10. Then, for g of negative 1, so from g of x, but x is negative 1. So, we have 5 times negative 1 to the power 2, then minus 4. So, negative 1 to the power 2, that's 1, then minus 4. So, we have 5. Minus 4, so g of negative 1 is equal to positive 1. Then to solve now for the product of f of negative 1 and g of negative 1. So f of negative 1, that's 10. Then times g of negative 1, that's 1. So therefore, the product of f of negative 1 times g of negative 1 is positive 10. Then for this given, so for the quotient, so this equation is equal to f of negative 2 over the g of negative 2. But you need to solve first for f of negative 2 and g of negative 2. So we have f of negative 2 from f of x, but x is equal to negative 2. So we have now 3 times negative 2 squared, then minus 5 times negative 2, then plus 2. So 3 times negative 2 squared, so negative times negative, that's positive 4. Then negative 5 and negative 2, this one is positive 10, then plus 2. So we have now 3 times 4, this one is 12, plus 10, plus 2. So, 12 plus 10, that's 22, plus 2, this one is 24. So, f of negative 2 is 24. Then, for g of negative 2, so from g of x, but x is negative 2. So, we have 5 times negative 2 squared, then minus 4. So, negative 2 squared, this one is positive 4, then minus 4. So, we have 5 times 4, this one is 20, then minus 4. So, 20 minus 4, that's 16. So, g of negative 2 is equal to positive 16. So, to solve now for the quotient of f of negative 2 and g of negative 2. So, since f of negative 2 is 24, then over g of negative 2, that's 16. Then reduce, so this 24 and 16, divisible by 8. So 24 divided by 8, this one is 3, and 16 divided by 8, this one is 2. So therefore, the quotient of f of negative 2 and g of negative 2 is equal to 3 over 2. Then for this given, so the product of f of x and the h of x. So from f of x, that's 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 times h of x, that's square root of 2x minus 3. Then distribute. So, distribute this to every term. So, we have 3x squared, then square root of 2x minus 3, minus uh, 5x, then square root of 2x minus 3. Distribute, so plus 2, then square root of 2x minus 3. Since we cannot do anything on this equation, so therefore, this one is the final answer.